Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a synthetic data set for fine tuning or for RAG by using this new framework Raft from Microsoft. This Raft sits between fine tuning and RAG. Before I show you how you can get it implemented and show you a demo of it, let me give you a quick background as what exactly this is helping out with. We all know that generative AI for businesses has really blossomed and one of the most impactful application of AI for any sphere is to create natural language interfaces that have access to existing knowledge or in other words, if you want to use the models or the AI based applications on your own data, then you either need to do fine tuning of that model or you need to do retrieval augmented generation. Fine tuning means that you train an existing base model on a set of documents that represents the domain specific knowledge of your own company's data. The other way is RAG or retrieval augmented generation which involves storing those documents in a vector database and at query time finding documents based on their semantic similarity with the question and bringing them into the context of the LLM for in-context learning. Now both of these approaches are quite good and in practice I have seen that many companies are using both for the LLM to become more intelligent on the external and custom data. Now this is where Raft attempts to help. This has been developed by the team which is already uh, have done lot of work in terms of Gorilla LLM and I have done few videos around it. Now what happens here is that in conventional RAG when a query is posed to a model it retrieves few documents from an index that are likely to contain the answer. It uses these documents as a context to generate an answer to the user's query. When fine tuning, the model answers queries like a student writing a closed book exam. With RAG, this scenario resembles an open book exam where student has full access to a textbook to find the answers. Open book exams are easier to solve than closed book exams, which really explains why RAG is so popular. But both approaches have limitations. For instance, with fine tuning, the model is not only limited to what it has been trained on, but it is also subjected to hallucinations. With RAG, the model is grounded, but documents are retrieved merely on their semantic proximity within the query, but model really doesn't intelligently know which documents are truly relevant or they are just hallucinations. These are called destructors. These destructor documents may be pulled into models context even when they are not good sources for a well-reasoned answer. This is where this raft helps. Now, if fine tuning is like closed book exam and uh, the rag is like open book exam, then what this raft does it, it try, tries to bridge the both worlds. So what Raft does is it creates a data set which enables the model to study the documents in the RAG prior to getting it used actually during the RAG process. So what it means is that in the closed sourced exam student doesn't really have access to the book but which is fine tuning but in open source in the RAG student have the access to the book but it just pulls out all the similar answers. But in the raft, not only the student has access to the open book but it already has read the book beforehand so it has more context around it. It makes it more intelligent and then it enables it to have more meaningful answer. So that is what raft is doing. Now let me show you how you can get it installed, I mean the raft and then how you can create the data set out of it. Let me log into my local system. For this purpose I am using Ubuntu 22.04. Now in order to get it installed 
you would need to first git clone the raft repo which is the gorilla repo so let me quickly do that so this is a gorilla repo which you need to clone so click on this green button and grab this and i will drop the link in video description to this once you have it let's go back to our system let me clear my screen git clone in the full url it don't take too long that is almost done it's pretty big that is done now let's go to gorilla and go to raft and this is what we needed now for instance we want to uh, just convert our own document into this raft generated synthetic data set for that let's grab a text file and put it in the sample data directory here and then we will run the raft py and it is going to generate it in the output directory now uh, before i do that let me show you um, my uh, quick text file how what i am going to use so this is my free flowing text file with the name of the file is test.txt and this is just a blog post um, about sydney opera house and it has just few paragraphs so this is what i am going to convert it into a synthetic data set in a raft format so the command to do it is quite simple and let me first clear the screen and show you the command now this is calling that raft.py function within the same repo and i just need to first cd to one directory back because this is where the raft.py is let me clear the screen paste the command again now let me walk you through what exactly this command is doing with python 3 i am calling that raft.py data path is where my file is so it is in this sample underscore data directory the file name is test.txt this is the output file name and then i am just giving it a destructor so destructor is simply the document which i want to give it don't worry about it too much i'll tell you what exactly that is so please bear with me document type is txt and chunk size is 512 so it is going to convert the tokens into 512 chunks and then it is going to put two questions with it and please also bear with me i will tell you what exactly this means once it's converted because it is easier to show than to explain here and then here you need to put your open ai key so what i will do I will put my open AI key here. I will run it and I will I will show you the result. So while the command is being run and I have tried to hide my open AI key, you can see that it is doing chunking, chunking at the moment. And it is working quite nicely. And you can see that it was able to generate the JSON from arrow format and that JSON is in JSON L format. Okay, let me clear my screen and let me make this screen up bigger let's do ls to see what we have here there you go so we have our sample underscore ds4 let's go into that one sorry ds4 let's clear let's ls there you go so we have our data set underscore info dot json state dot json and then in the arrow format let's check them out the so data set here is in the arrow format let me show you the raw file data set file which it, ha it has created the header of the file is bit of um, the special characters but if you go through it this is the text which we had put it in and then it creates it in the uh, question answer and destructor format it goes on and on and on even for the small size now it is a bit hard to read here so i We'll just grab a chunk of it and try to explain as what exactly it has produced here with the help of raft so i have pasted a chunk of it and i have condensed it for brevity so this is a command which we used with the raft.py so again this is a text file we gave it this is the output and then we used two distractors and we used two questions so what happens here is that out of our free flowing text for every chunk it creates two questions and 
two answers of those questions and then it puts in the relevant documents in chunks in destructors here so you can see that we have two destructors here you can increase the size of it so these destructors have the context document which llm reads through before rag and that gives it more intelligence and it creates these pairs uh, in our raft data set so we have a question we have an answer and then we have destructor which are the context documents for that and these destructors documents may be pulled into um, the models context even when they are not good sources for a well reasoned answer so this is what improve improve the deficiencies of rag in my humble opinion the best way of testing this thing is to play with it in with your own data set so this raft currently supports text documents pdf documents json and api documents in json format must have a text attribute containing the content from which chunks are extracted and documents in api format must follow the api json format in the gorilla api store which you can find in their github repo so all in all this raft is a recipe to adapt llms to domain specific rag and this is i think going to evolve more so keep an eye on this repo because i think uh, this bridges the gap between fine tuning and rag itself as i said i will drop the link to this uh, in video's description have a go through it let me know what do you think and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching